Hello and welcome. This is It's Always About Love and I'm Life Coach Lee Evans. I'm usually here with psychotherapist Lynn Lara, but Lynn uh, is not on the show today. But as you know, she's been in private practice for many years and she has a lot of wisdom and she is very experienced at helping people with relationships. It's our desire to help you and make what you learn from this podcast usable in your life right now. If you have a comment or a question, please email us at it's it's always about love the number one at gmail dot com. Now let's get started, and as I mentioned earlier, it's just me, Life Coach Lee Evans, and I'm here with you. And I want to discuss relationships. Um, that's what Lynn is very experienced at. She's very experienced at relationships um, uh, counseling. And I've been working under her. I, I don't have that expertise, so I'm in the learning phase. But I was uh, doing a little bit of research and and reading because that's what I'm supposed to do. And uh, we have some emails that did come in. Uh, Lynn will be back Monday to answer those. So that's this is this podcast will be short and sweet. <laughs> so there has been a thousand articles written about how to have. A successful long-term relationship or marriage but none of them seem to capture exactly what's going on or the core ingredients that are actually needed and I'm sure everybody's got their own opinion so here's one thing that I would just like to put out there relationships are easy or should be easy I believe this is simply not true. In relationships, the grass always looks greener on the other side in other people's lives. I have that happening in my own life. Um, I have health problems and so I'm not able to do like other people do and, and leave the house like other people are able to leave their house. And so I'm not able to participate in a lot of things that other people participate in life. Uh, which made it really hard on me when I was rejected by my son, pardon me, my daughter, because I missed the, his son, which was my grandchild. And that was the joy of my life. So since being rejected, and I do not have that relationship anymore, that makes it even harder. And I know a lot of you uh, parents and grandparents out there understand what I'm saying, and I truly feel sorry, and and I'm so sad for that. I I wish this type of thing never happened. But in that, saying that, it just shows relationships are not easy. I was taught relationships, or I heard this, relationships are easy. Well, I simply think it's not true. The grass does look greener on the other side. I do have friends that call me. And they're always vacationing. They're always going somewhere. Uh, They lead an exciting life. I have family members that don't live near me because I'm pretty isolated and I'm far, far away from my family. uh, Thousands of miles away. But uh, they seem to be enjoying their lives. They go places. They do things, especially with spouses. And so, to me, the grass does look greener on the other side in other people's lives. But when, or if I was actually to talk to them, I find out that there's a little bit more to it than just having fun, and, and or what I seem to think is the good side or the, the fantastic or fun side of their lives. Uh, there's more that does go into a relationship, and that's why it it seems to me that 
half the marriages or half mar- half of marriages end in divorce so relationships even at their best must require constant attention nurturing and work and uh I wish I would have known this earlier in my life. If I ex- look at it and and would have understood this and accepted that that I needed to pay attention and work at a relationship, I might have not had the losses in my life I've had. So, my truth for today, tonight's podcast is relationships are hard. That's just the truth. Um and I'm glad that the people in my life are able to do things in their lives and are able to enjoy their lives and travel. And the way I travel is by doing the podcast and uh, reaching out to all of you. That's how I travel. And that's how I build relationship with you. So if you're going through a tough time and relationships have not been easy for you, and you need someone to listen or to reach out to, you can always email me. I'm at it's, I-T-S, always about love, the number one, at gmail.com. And I told you it'd be short and sweet, (laughs) and it is. We will be back, Lynn and myself, Monday, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Sometimes we're earlier than that. But see you next week. Until then, remember, it's always about love. And we do love you. Oh, also, uh, I'm in hurricane area and we have another hurricane coming. So I am pet sitting for animals that might be uh, impacted by this next hurricane. So um, just in case, I don't know exactly where... It's going to hit yet. They've predicted a certain area, but, you know, who knows? Things sometimes don't go the way the weatherman says or the weather channel. So I am looking forward to being back Monday, 5 p.m. Pacific time. But if not, I will post something. Somehow I'll get a message out to you all to let you know. But like I said, right now I'm pet sitting, and that's why I had to make this really short because they have someone bringing this pet that needs a home while the storm is uh, approaching. So I'm going to say good night, everyone, and have a lovable weekend. And I hope and look forward to seeing you again and talking with you on Monday. Okay, good night, everyone.